promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTubing. And listen, I've seen a YouTube of him. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. 55. Yeah. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike I've... trains every day. Well, I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths. Saki Obika replaces Mike. All right, so picture this. The boxing world is buzzing with excitement and a bit of uncertainty. Why? Because former WBC super middleweight champ Saki Obika has thrown his hat into the ring quite literally offering to step in if Iron Mike Tyson can't make it to the much-anticipated showdown with Jake Paul. Now that's what I call a plot twist. First off, let's talk credentials. Bika isn't just your run-of-the-mill boxer. Nope, he's a former world champion, a title he proudly held in the super middleweight division. That's like having the heavyweight champion of the world offer to spar with you at the local gym. It's a big deal. But here's where it gets interesting. Bika isn't just doing this for the fame or the paycheck, although those wouldn't hurt. Nope, he genuinely seems ready to throw down with Jake Paul if the opportunity arises. That's some serious dedication to the sport right there. Now before you think Bika's just trying to steal the spotlight, let's hear him out. In his comments, he shows mad respect for Tyson, calling him an all-time great and even admitting that Iron Mike was the hero of his growing up. But hey, he's also keeping it real. Bika points out the elephant in the room. Tyson's not exactly a spring chicken anymore. At almost 60 years old, he's pushing the limits of what's physically possible in the ring. So Bika suggests maybe it's time for a younger, fresher face to take on Jake Paul. And you know what? He's got a good point. Jake Paul might be a controversial figure, but he's also a young, energetic dude with something to prove. Facing off against a boxing legend like Mike Tyson is one thing, but going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone closer to his own age? That could make for an even more exciting fight. So, props to Saki Obika for throwing his name into the mix. Whether he ends up trading blows with Jake Paul or not, one thing's for sure, the boxing world just got a whole lot more interesting. Promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please. Hey, I will do just that for you. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTube. And, and listen... I've seen a YouTube of him, but if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. Doubts over Tyson's participation. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, Mike Tyson's participation in the upcoming brawl with Jake Paul. So here's the scoop. Despite the hype surrounding the Tyson vs. Paul showdown set for July 20 in Texas, there's some serious doubt creeping in. First off, we've got to address the age gap. We're talking about Iron Mike, the legendary heavyweight champ who's pushing 60, going head-to-head -head with Jake Paul, a spry 27-year-old YouTube sensation turned boxer. Yeah, you heard that right. It's like pitting a seasoned warrior against a young buck eager to prove himself in the ring. But here's where things get a bit sticky. Turns out, Tyson's got to jump through some medical hoops before he can even step foot into the ring. We're talking EEGs, EKGs, fancy medical tests, to make sure Iron Mike still got it upstairs in his ticker. Now, I don't know about you, but when they start hooking up boxing legends to machines, it's hard not to raise an eyebrow or two. Day three, you still want to with me? I have the amount of people that think Mike actually stands a chance against me. I'm going to kill him. You know what I'm saying? Can now, this kid fight? Now, can he fight Mike Tyson? This is a no, different I story. Say Mike Tyson. Can you know this kid saying? fight? And that's not all. The possibility of Tyson pulling out of the fight has got everyone holding their breath. I mean, can you imagine the chaos if Iron Mike decides to hang up his gloves at the last minute? It's like buying tickets to a heavyweight title match and finding out the main event's been canceled. Talk about a major buzzkill. So, yeah, there's definitely some uncertainty swirling around this bout. Will Tyson pass the tests with flying colors and silence the doubters? Or will we be left with a gaping hole in the fight come July 20th? Only time will tell, my friends, but one thing's for sure, this Tyson vs. Paul showdown just got a whole lot more interesting. Mike. No. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? 
I don't know. I don't give a f Hey, four, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of War. And get ready, baby. The baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson, making his return to boxing this summer. Age gap sparks controversy. Let's talk about the age-old debate, literally. We've got Jake Paul, the young gun at 27, and then there's Mike Tyson, a seasoned vet, at the ripe old age of 57. Yeah, you heard that right. The age gap between these two is turning heads faster than a knockout punch. Now, when you've got a former heavyweight champ pushing 60 stepping into the ring, you know folks are going to have something to say about it. And boy, have they. Memes are flying faster than jabs, and critics are coming out of the woodwork faster than you can say knockout. But here's the thing. Tyson's not backing down. Nope, not even a little bit. In fact, he's doubling down on his decision to lace up the gloves and throw down with Jake Paul. And you know what? He's got a point. This guy's a living legend, a household name, and he's still got the fire in his belly to prove himself in the ring. 55. That's still Mike my, my, Tyson. Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike I've... trains every day. I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths. Like, I don't give a f if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Number two, there's a 30-year age gap there. Number three, AT&T Stadium. Number four, Netflix. Sure, the naysayers are out in full force, questioning whether Tyson's age might be a liability. But Iron Mike ain't having none of it. He's brushing off the haters like these pesky flies, calling them out for being nothing more than jealous spectators on the sidelines. And let's be real here, Tyson's got a point. This guy's been selling out arenas since before Jake Paul even knew how to throw a punch. He's a bona fide legend, and he's not about to let a little thing like age slow him down. So yeah, the age gap might be sparking controversy, but one thing's for sure. Tyson's not letting it get in the way of what promises to be one heck of a showdown. So grab your popcorn, folks. This fight's about to get real. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53. He gets mad when I do this, but Mike's 60, man. I, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I don't look at life as being age. I look at life as energy. And you don't bring your age to the table. You bring your energy to the table. A 31-year age difference during that fight. Just, you know, you know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. Comparing net worths. All right, let's talk cash. Because when you've got two big names like Jake Paul and Mike Tyson stepping into the ring, you know there's some serious dough on the line. First up, let's take a trip down memory lane with Iron Mike. This guy's no stranger to the green stuff. Back in his heyday, Tyson was raking in the big bucks faster than you can say knockout. We're talking tens of millions per fight, folks. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite his massive earnings, Tyson found himself staring down the barrel of bankruptcy in 2010. Yeah. Turns out even heavyweight champs can hit rock bottom. But fear not, Tyson's made quite the comeback, dipping his toes into everything from cannabis ventures to exhibition fights. His current net worth? A cool $10 million. Now let's talk Jake Paul. This guy's a different breed altogether. With his roots in social media, Paul's rise to fame reads like a modern-day fairy tale. From viral videos to a stint on Disney Channel, this guy's done it all. But here's the kicker. Paul's not content with just being an internet sensation. He's decided to dip his toes into the world of boxing, and it's paying off big time. With a massive online following and a knack for drumming up controversy, Paul's net worth currently stands at a jaw-dropping $80 million. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The upcoming fight between these two titans. With Tyson rumored to be pocketing a cool $20 million for the bout, and Paul's earnings still undisclosed, you can bet there's some serious cash up for grabs. And that's not even factoring in the potential for sponsorships and pay-per-view revenue. Bottom line, this fight's not just about bragging rights, it's about cold hard cash. So whether you're Team Tyson or Team Paul, one thing's for sure, when these two step into the ring, you can bet the bank accounts will be bulging. Expert warning. Listen up, folks, because when a boxing legend like Roy Jones Jr. speaks, you better believe people are gonna listen especially when he's dishing out advice to none other than Jake Paul. Jones Jr. isn't mincing words when it comes to facing off against Iron Mike Tyson. He's straight up warning Jake Paul about what he's getting himself into. And what's he got so riled up? Well, it's Tyson's punching power, of course. This guy's got fists like sledgehammers, and when he connects, it's game over. 
But here's where it gets interesting. Jones Jr. isn't just talking the talk, he's walked the walk. Yeah, this guy's been in the ring with Tyson himself, and let's just say it's an experience he won't soon forget. In fact, Jones Jr. faced off against Tyson in an exhibition fight just a few years back, and even though the bout ended in a draw, he's got a first-hand taste of what Tyson brings to the table. Uh, Mike was a killer. Yeah. You know, and like, you gotta know that you don't go in and, and play with Mike. Hell no, I ain't never said if I were to draw. I wear draws. I don't do draws. I like it. Mike Tyson was, he was the baddest man on the planet at one point in time. Mm -hmm. So Tyson, what do you think of that? I, 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 I'm good with that. You think you won the fight? Yeah, but I'm good with a draw. In my mind, it looked like they made some sort of an agreement where Mike wasn't gonna punch him in the face. Because like most of the hits that he hit him with, unless it was a jab or So what's the takeaway for Jake Paul? Well, for starters, he better be prepared. Like really prepared. We're talking hours in the gym, studying Tyson's every move and honing his own skills to perfection because when you're up against a force of nature like Tyson, there's no room for error. But it's not all doom and gloom for Paul. Nope, Jones Jr.'s warning comes with a silver lining, a chance for Paul to prove himself against one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, it's gonna be tough and yeah, there's gonna be doubters, but if Paul can hold his own against Tyson, he'll have earned every bit of respect that comes his way. So there you have it, folks, straight from the mouth of a boxing legend. Mike is probably smarter about the old school fighters oh, than man. any boxer that's fighting right that now. That dude's smart, You understand what comfort? He knows. He, well, I'm used to doing it for three minutes, and um, sometimes that two minutes felt like three minutes. <laughs> I thought he was one of the most entertaining things to ever come to boxing. Yeah, you know, I thought he really kept the game alive. I'm just happy I got this under my belt and I'm continuing to go further and do more. You'll do this again? Absolutely. Jake Paul better buckle up because when he steps into the ring with Mike Tyson, he's in for the fight of his life. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.